I'm Taisha, founder of Something for the People Ministry, and I'm here with a quick word. Um, this word is going to be pertaining servants and how we must forgive and the role that we have to take um, when we say that we follow Jesus and we are disciples and we're making disciples. Um, it's a certain path in a way we have to do things, and I and God wants you know He wants us to know and understand it, so therefore we won't be irritated, agitated. And um, delaying the process. Okay. Um, before we get started, let's pray. Father God in heaven, Lord, I thank you for this word. Lord, I love you. I need you. I praise your holy name. Stay here over my life in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Lord, mute me. You speak what you want to say to your children. Amen. All right, y'all. So <clears throat> this is going to be inspired by, I like Philippians chapter 2, verse 5 through 7. So I'm going to have that in the description box. Also, Luke chapter 22, verse 26. And then Mark chapter 10, verse 45. And I'm going to go ahead on and read Mark because this is the, the like the, what is it? The bulk, the meat, the main place that this is really coming from. It is um, <clears throat> Mark chapter 10, verse 45. For even the Son of Man came not to be served but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. So for even Jesus, pretty much son of man, came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. I don't even got to read no other ones with that being said, you guys. Okay. A lot of us, pretty much all of us, have taken the role of saying, okay, we're servants for God. We um, work in the fields. we trying to get, we winning souls. We're trying to do whatever we got to do for him. You know, a lot of us are, you know, if that's what you're doing, you know, because everybody, they uh, evangelize in different forms. You know, I don't know which way you do it, but for the most part, we're, we're servants, you know, whether you're prophesizing, um, whatever you're doing, you know, <laughs> edifying, uh, doing reformation, reformation, um, teaching, preaching, whatever you're doing to whomever you are around in this season, in this time, throughout your, your walk. You know, we are taking on the role as a servant. So with that being said, by us being a servant, any feelings, any emotions, any unforgiveness, anything that you have within you, you got to release it to be able to work for God. You got to be, you got to release it. And I had to learn this firsthand. <clears throat> Pretty much saying it, let's say cousin, uh, mom, dad, sister, brother, friend, neighbor, uh, angered you. Uh, the way I say it, piss you off. Put you in a place where you're like, okay, or rub you the wrong way. You don't want to deal with them no more. Okay, but God is requiring you as a servant to still deal with them. But you yourself, the person that you are that, you know, that, that was formed in this world, that was brought in sin, you don't want to deal with them no more. You're done. We can't do that. Now that service. You know, now if God, if we pray and we say, hey, I don't want this person around me. I want to deal with them. And God, it's his will for them to be removed from your life, then they will be removed. But if you're still having to deal with them, it's something that he wants you to do. And he needs you to know that. See them as you as you want him to see you. So the same forgiveness, the same mercy, the grace that we're upon, upon, that we ask him for, he wants you to extend that to them. He wants you to just let them, you know, have it. If they're still repeatedly, repeatedly and uh, constantly in your life. Now, if you pray, because you know we take all things to the throne, we take all things to the Father, and we say, hey, I don't want to deal with this, I don't like this, this is too much for me, or whatever, you know, however way you want to put it. When he answers your prayer, because he always answers the prayers of the righteous, when he answers your prayer, you're going to either see the situation change, or the situation is going to stay the same. But normally, if it stays the same, it's a lesson, and it's something that he wants you to do.
So I always remember that when you don't see a change or something that is removed from your presence that you have prayed to God about, then there's a list and there's a teaching in there. It's something that he wants you to learn and you're going to learn from that person probably getting on your nerves. But you're going to learn something about God and what he can do, something that's going to glorify him. Also, something that's going to help you with in your walk to deal with difficult people throughout your life because we're going to deal with people always. So you might as well go ahead on and learn how to uh, make wise uh, decisions. Speak to people wisely using the knowledge and wisdom from God. Know what to say. Know what not to say. Know when to react. Know when not to react. So that's what our role is. We have to remember when Jesus came, he was all about the Father's business. That's what we got to do. So that personal vendetta, that personal feeling that we have, we got to push that to the side and do what God is requiring us to do in this time. Like we cannot take anything personal. We cannot be offended by anything dealing with people. You know, like I said, we pray about them and if God wants them gone, he'll remove them. But if they are still around you, it's a lesson within that person and in that situation that you're in. Take note and try to learn. The moment you can learn from it, the quicker you can get past it. And that's how they go. You know, that's how they go. <clears throat> and I'm learning it. I'm learning that. So, you you know, I, like I tell y'all, remember this ministry, too, for my newcomers, for people that don't know me, this ministry really is like a documentary, a documentary of my walk, of my journey as I follow Jesus throughout my life. That's what this ministry really came from. So, I, as I learn something or as I go through a lesson or as I have a dream or uh, whatever God teaches me, I come back and I share it with y'all because I feel like we are a community. We're sisters and brothers in Christ. And if I know something that I can help Help you to know and to get. I'm gonna come back and give it to you. So that's what I do. That's what this. That's where the something for the people ministry came from. Is I feel like we're all God's people, and I'm just one of His children that is trying to live my life right. And you know, like I did a video. I might do a video. Where I had a turban on. That's what I felt like God was convicting me on at the time. Then God shortly came back to me and told me, hey, pray over. If you want to wear a wig, pray over that wig. Put it on. Cast in the demons, you know. Wait, know, know what you got to deal with. The spiritual warfare you're going to deal with. Know that, you know, you can't paint it up and put on so much makeup that you look like a harlot and you're enticing men. But do everything that you do with considering me and being modest. He said, don't go out there making yourself look like a clown. Don't go out there making yourself look like, hey, look at me because it's not about you. But God does want us to look nice. You know, he don't require for us to be hidden like we're just nobody because we're beautiful people inside and out. Every single one of us. So there's no reason to um, make yourself look unattractive, man or woman. I got that revelation, you know, but that's what I got for me because, you know, when I, as I go through things, that's what, that's what the spirit gave me at that time. But a lot of time, y'all, God take me through things to teach me. Like he took me, uh, through taking off my wigs, uh, taking off my makeup and, and doing, I did a fast from it so that when I did return to it, I would know how to do it. You know what I'm saying? So that's me, and that's what he does with my walk, and I let y'all in because I like to give y'all an example of how God does things. You know, that's what I do. That's where this ministry came from. It's just an example. It might be 10 years from now where you might see me back to a place where I just strip back out of whatever the little bit of makeup that I do, where I just strip back out of whatever wig that I do have on my head or whatever kind of hair. I might be from that. You know, I never know what God convicts me in at once from me. So I give y'all the place that I'm in at the time. Like, and I, you know, and that's all I can do. I give y'all me right where I'm at. I don't try to hide it because I can't hide it from God. Because if I was not on here, I get up and I still, I always have been a person that want to look decent, you know, <clears throat> I ain't got to be all that, but I would like to look nice. And I have certain complexes about me and God is building my company. So therefore, if I want to do a little something in a modest way to make myself <clears throat> confident and feel brave enough and courageous enough to go out here with the um, Holy Spirit dwelling in me and minister or talk to people, then that's what he allows me to do. So it's for every person has something different that God deals with them on. But I just wanted to make that clear. If you see me do one thing and do something else, you know, I'm learning. And I don't know it all, but as I learn, I get whatever 
I, I'm learning to you guys. And that's why I always say, come in. You know, if you feel like it's something that you uh, don't agree with, say it. You know, you might get a different revelation from me uh, that you may can give me some insight on. So that's what I started this ministry about. It was not to be like the leader, the head chief, because God is the leader. He's the head chief. I'm just a, literally a servant for real. So therefore, you know, I have to find myself like he, he's the potter. I'm truly the clay. You know, so he, he does me all kind of ways. Sometimes he put me in situations to um, let me be a part of certain things that might not be right so I can pray for people. He'll put me smack dab in the middle of drama or something crazy, but he'll protect me and he won't let no harm come my way, but he'll be teaching me. You know, so he know that I'm a person that if you put, and he, you may be too, if he puts you in the middle of something and you, you may learn from it quicker than you just observing somebody else go through it. He might put you in that fire and let you feel that heat. Cause he know me, if I get in some fire and I feel that heat, I don't want to get burned. I don't like heat. I don't like to be hot. So therefore I won't go in that fire again. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to let y'all know that we have to um, forgive people. We got to walk in forgiveness we gotta let it go because we can't that's why that's why it's probably so big that he say don't you know now i'm really kind of getting it it's like clicking in with me why he say forgive people as you know you would want me to forgive you because we got a job to do we're servants we we work for him so therefore you can't work you know for someone we can't work for god like if you on your job you can't work you know doing something trying to help certain people you know if you you working at a job and it's a co-worker that you don't like you ain't gonna want to work with them because you're gonna have a personal feeling that you have he's saying the personal feelings have to go like just like when you go to work and they say leave that personal stuff leave that at home and when you come here come here to work that's the same thing the father is saying he's saying leave that personal uh feelings that offense betrayal whatever it is throw that stuff away if these person these people are continually coming around you and god is allowing you to uh, have to speak to them or bless them or whatever he doing and also <clears throat> it's the time now <clears throat> i'm sorry y'all every time i do a video like i'm about to choke <laughs> but also he's causing us to um we have to go and make peace too so as servants we have to make peace and sometimes people in the world might look at us like, you fool, I will be done with them. But we are called to make peace. We have to let things go. Um, we cannot walk around with that kind of stuff because remember, we work, we're servants, we do a job. So therefore, any kind of special feelings that we have, we got to throw them away and we got to do with our father, our boss, our employer, our head requires for us to do. So, all right. I hope everybody understood that. I thank you all for listening. I hope you got a revelation and some understanding. Uh, right now, I just want to pray. Father God in heaven, I ask that you give um, a increase of wisdom, knowledge, and discernment to all my viewers and my subscribers, Father God. I ask that you bless them abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus. Cover them with the blood of Jesus. Bless them coming, going out and bless them coming in. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. All right, you guys. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.